Chiefs leader starting alongside Boris said the green flag going back in the air at lap 66. Wow. Ooh, a lot of wheel spin back there on that. Oh, we got trouble. They're right. stacking Three, up back four there. Cars right. Paul Menard, Denny Hamlin, Martin Truex Jr., Pappas. Max Pappas yeah. among those. And that, and that was, all, got a piece that of was all due to that wheel spin. Those guys, yeah. when, they, when they got on the gas, there was a bunch of guys that got loose. Their rear tires broke loose, and it stacked them up behind. There you go. You'll see guys. And this know, is where it starts. Yeah, it right starts here. at the beginning. Let's be real clear. It starts at, in the first four or five cars. Yeah. But these are the guys that, that look at them back oh, here. Man, oh, man, some of those guys just barreled in there. Yeah, they were going, man. You know, Truex had been good all day long. He had been penalized because when he pitted. I think that was one. These guys, that's at the front of the pack. And that just, it's the accordion effect that everybody talks about. You see it on the highway. You see it at stop signs. You see it at stop lights, man. You see it everywhere. This is why I, have, I feel Truex had a great day running. Uh, and then got spun and got put in that position. In. Josh Perry in the eight. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Slammed into the side of him, and he spins Sage Karam into the wall. What a move by that yellow car of Jones to miss the wreck, and here comes the rest of the field. They can't see. It's smoke and dust all the way across. More coming in too fast and more contact. A huge impact to Tyler Reddick in that 48. Drivers going through, trying to get through, but couldn't. And then they go into this corner and contact again. And now, see this contact, they're banging into each other off the racetrack. And now Noah, I don't know if he had a mechanical issue or just hung a right in frustration. And that started this massive crash behind them. Well, look what everybody sees, too. You can't see anything with all that dust. Yeah, that yellow rear bumper you just saw come in, that's Reddick. You know, and he can't see where he's going. The rest of these cars are just kind of going into the dust, debris and the smoke. Let's take a look at from this angle right here. You're going to see the nine go around, the 45 go around, the 45 makes contact. I mentioned the 19 evasive maneuver does a wonderful job missing it. Gregson comes in a huge hit for Myatt Snyder into the 10. And now we see Reddick sitting here and right oh. there. I believe that is. Yes, that's a 68 of Brandon Brown. Nowhere to go. Heavy contact into Reddick. He's still there. Smith shutting the door. Contact. And now contact from behind. The 48 of Brennan Poole gets into Blake Cook. He can't stop the spin. And now contact behind them. Carnage coming out of turn five. And this is not what Blake Cook needed. One of the drivers on the bubble for the playoff. You can see here that the 48 car decided to stick his nose in there once again. That sent Blake Cook spinning. Poole escapes. Kennedy escapes. Yeah, think... Reed, piled into by Gallagher, had nowhere to go. Yeah, just nothing you can do. You can't see up there when you're going single file there and you're, you're just gassing up and you're trying to get through there. And this is what will happen then. They talked about those blind corners, and you're racing, right? Yeah, looked like Ben Kennedy got a little damage maybe to the door. I don't know that it got into the right rear tire for him. They'll have to check that probably. Oh, oh, something broke. Something, something broke in the car. Oh, my God. Something broke in the car. Man, we got we to gotta get him. We got to talk to him, find out what the heck happened. Right, left. Oh, one car off. Scott Bully in the way, and we're stacking them up. Oh, oh my God. My. One car up and over and over the fencing. Wow. There's got to be 10 cars involved in this one, and one literally out of the ballpark. And the whole racetrack is completely blocked. And I mean, again, Larry, two cars make contact there, including the 26 machine, Scott Bully. And these cars just start stacking up behind him. See Look Corey at, Heath come in there in the 12 car. Is that the 21 of Troy Williams that goes right up and over the wall? It is Troy Williams at a Chaffee, New York. Has really been working the backside in that red number 45. He's been working it for several laps. Talked about the 78 car being the only Pontiac in the field. Oh, we got a oh, bad, we got a car my. upside down. This is in the S's again. 
the 86 car, Dennis Demers. And look at the guardrail. I mean, he has definitely hit that guardrail hard. But the good thing about it, remember, guardrail moves. It absorbs. Well, in the first round of pit stops, it was that two, and Paul Wolf was the first car on pit road. As you see, the 18 to Cobbush. Oh, and a big contact. Came across the barrier, the 16 of Biffle involved. As is the 17 of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Austin Dillon included in this as well. That's coming out of the carousel. So we're getting ready to head into turn six. So much damage by the 17. Also the 48 of Jimmy Johnson. We'll be going to the garage here, fellas. We see Ryan Blaney in the 21. It was just behind him. Stenhouse Jr. into the wall. Back out. There was some contact made behind him and then big contact from Jimmy Johnson. I mean, from that angle, it looked like Stenhouse lost it off of off the long carousel, got loose, leaving the carousel, trying to carry speed, just got loose, and that gets back out on the racetrack. Heavy shot for Jimmy Johnson into the side of the 17. You see 16 of Greg Biffle also getting into the arm code, the three of Dylan. We've seen some major crashes here, Jeff. Unfortunately, I know you've been a part of a, a, at least one. It's just Later. running in the fourth spot. And around goes the four. Kevin right, Harvick yeah. involved Keep in this digging. one. As is the 23 of David Reagan. Once again, chase implications. The tires got into the side of the six. Now he's up the racetrack. Has to try to find a way back onto the racetrack. A lot of dirt on the track. Drivers can't see. They all get stacked up. Now it's a chain reaction. More than four cars damage 34 of Chris Busher was also involved that's the, the 34 the yellow and blue on the inside up against the Armco barrier if that is indeed they may be looking at left sides while they're getting fuel depending yeah. on how long they're gonna be out there yeah that's what I would be looking oh, trouble gosh what a mark. Ryan Newman hard into the wall Michael McDowell hard into the wall Out, out. Terrible crash. Well, but you see quite a few cars over there. So come back on the track. Contact between Biffle and Newman. Yes, yeah, Biffle came back on the track. Newman was right there. Got into him and hard into that guardrail and the tires. Sends him back out in the middle of the track here. Into McDowell. See the rear end housing loose from the car and then it goes over the fence. Well, that last impact from McDowell was the one that was probably knocked the wind out of him. What a piece of driving by David Reagan sliding through there between those crashed cars. Coming right at you now. Flashback. 19th, but Dave Rogers, the crew chief, said, I think we have a top five car today. Kyle doesn't feel it early on, though. He says it just doesn't want to turn anywhere. Oh. Caution on the track. Cole Witt. Under the tire barrier, you see him moving around inside the car and dropping the window net. Well, I think I saw briefly that car just take off through there. See Cole Witt going into turn one, locks up the front. See the front tires lock up briefly, but now you don't see any lockup. Wow, and that whole tire barrier gives some, some ground. Yes, well they did their job, the tires did the job.
Sure has the makings of some brake failure there after he got in. The way through four, now into five and turn six. All of that contact between the two leaders is allowed. Lots of, well, the 24 is spinning. The 24 is, oh, there's a multiple cars into the wall here. There must be oil or some kind of fluid down on the racetrack right there in turn. We got car, more cars coming in. William Byron is reporting that the curb came up. He hit the curb in the 24. Yeah, the curbing is coming up, and that's what everyone hit when they were coming through there in turn six. The curbing comes up, catches a bunch of the cars, the front ends of the cars, and oh, numerous cars are destroyed. Take a look at what happened to Daniel. was in front of him. Now here is the... Watch the 24 car here. Boom! Destroys the splitter. The car just spins out. Everyone behind him piles in. And it ain't over. More cars are going to come sliding into this because you're committed. Once you're committed, once you're committed to that kink, you can't avoid the calamity right there. Big good angle to see how the rest of the field look at the 22 destroyed his car over the curb yeah the rest of these guys get piled in here oh more cars getting destroyed going through turn five over that curb unbelievable now Steve I gotta ask you why would the why would the cup cars have more trouble with that particular curb when we didn't have this type of issue yesterday with Xfinity cars. You know, Dale, I was wondering that as we've seen them repair this curve. I didn't. Later. We'll pick up the lead. Briscoe with him in second. Here comes Matt De Benedetto. He wants third, but he's got to get around A.J. Allmendinger to do it. Bubba Wallace off course. One other car spinning, leading turn six. More contact on the straightaway, and there's more calamity on the back straightaway. Cars everywhere on the back stretch. Austin Dillon, hard contact. That was the result of that curve. Looks like Michael McDowell with the car that got spun around. Reddick, the jump. So much damage to the front. Guys hadn't seen the racetrack in this configuration. Through here side by side. See Bubba Wallace, he bails out. But huge jump right there by McDowell. Just, they haven't been through this track like this before without that curve. This causes all these issues. It's easy to say, well, you know it's there, but vision just isn't what you think it is when you're following other cars. Watch these cars hit it. Blaney hit it a little bit. Further back, look at that launch. Around he goes. Crazy. See Cole Custer in a wall. The teammates. Austin Dillon with big damage. Jeff Gordon involved. Jeff Burton is there. Heavy hit by the 77 car. Sam Hornish, he is out of his car. Jeff Gordon is yet to come out now. He is climbing out of the car. I say we're done for the day. It's a very fast part of the racetrack. Here's Sam Hornish racing with Casey Kane as they come out of the corner. Oh. Looks like well, Casey got loose and tried yep. to correct it. Got into Sam and goodness gracious. What just a as we saw the other day. Wow. Huge lick by Jeff Gordon. It's good to see him get out of his car and Sam Hornish. Both of those cars hit really? extremely hard on that second impact. Gordon head on into the Armco barrier. We saw this happen with Jason Leffler's car the other day get thrown back and wow. Jeff Gordon wide open. Nowhere to go. It's good to see those guys get out of the car. Joey Logano just missing the inside of the 77 car when he came by. Right along with Jeff Gordon here. Be ready, folks. This is hard. Ooh. And just no time to do anything. And there's no safer barrier. At Watkins Glen, a terrible crash for Denny Hamlin. That is in turn one at the end of the front straightaway. Looks a lot like the brake failure. So yeah, it looks like it's it's got well, some got brakes. The front brakes are the left front's locked up. That's almost like the throttle hung. Gosh, man, that could have been. It could have been the throttle hung pushing the front tire. Man, look at how much it moved that guardrail, even through yeah, the tire barrier. You can see the smoke from the front tires, like he's trying to get this car stopped, and maybe the throttle is hung partially. Man.
Yeah, those rear tires are still going hard. Yeah. Oh. They worked out to get him up in the top. Oh, another car up on the wall here. It's Ken Schrader. Just like the one car. Oh, he, and he stays on the roof. Yeah. Steve Park landed on all fours, but Schrader is upside down in exactly the same area of the racetrack that Steve Park had his crash early on. Let's take a look at it. Again, it's just about the same type of crash. He goes over once, one and a half times, and then rolls back on the hood. Looked like it Flashback. And he started back in the 31st position, so he is definitely on the move. And we have a car into the tire barriers. That's Steve Park. This is at the exit of turn number two. I think that's where Richard Petty hit the wall here exactly. a few years ago. It sure is. Yep, it's a full course. Look here what happened. Steve Park is going to come to watch as he backs in the fence. Overturns completely in the air, comes down on all four. Looks like those guys at the X Games, the way they do those uh, <laughs> skates. Wow. Man, oh, man. That was a... Oh, a little shove from Martin Trex Jr. And too hard through one. Keselowski, Larson both into the wall. They pile up in the Tums heartburn turn. Caution coming out again. Yeah, I just had no grip. We're drove it. My fault. Brad Keselowski, they all launched really well. Nobody really spinning their wheels much. Brad's in trouble right there. He knows he's in trouble. Got the left front locked up, and now just nowhere for these guys to go. I think even the 18, he was in too deep. A lot of guys really did have a lot of trouble getting in that corner. That is so strange to have a, so many cars overshoot the same corner on the restart. It's the understanding of grip, you know, you have to trust that the car, even I mean, they just the 21, the 18. So we've had a lot of laps without a restart through that turn. Guys, been tidy on the entry. Oh. He's been one of the fastest. Bubba Wallace with a massive hit there, Steve. Yes. He did not have a good day yesterday. The bad weekend continues. The difference is we were expecting to see maybe a couple spin outs for Bubba Wallace, but this is this is a case. Let's take a look. He, oh, he just gets loose. And he's, oh. Nowhere to go. Man. Oh, wow. And that's a moment that you're thankful that wall is designed to move. That's correct. Oh, man. Huge impact there. And, Steve, you've mentioned it. That backstretch chicane is so inviting because it just it, it invites you to carry so much speed through there. Well, it invites you, and it's required. I mean, everybody I've talked about says this would be a good shot at right here. Real time. Wow. Later. Guys to try to go around me. Right? Oh. I'm, oh, my goodness. Eric Jones. Backstretch chicane, Steve. Let me guess what he hit. Wow. That's big. Man, he's already made contact. A couple yeah. times. There's a car in front of them. Oh. Took a peek there around Ryan Newman, and there's no real estate. Oh, man. He, again. Holy Toledo. Well, you hit those turtles, and you literally fly in the air. A ways back. You must catch him dramatically. Pay attention to 31. Got one off, and that is Matt Kenseth. Hard yeah, hit yeah. as he came down. Wow. Caution is out for the fourth time today. The tire barrier. Yeah, he yes. got hooked in the right rear, and that's... What was it? Was it Kurt Busch or something? I remember years, a few years ago, yes. got in that same area, same deal, got hooked. And you see him right here. He's on the outside. And Junior gets up over the curb before he gets there. Junior gets into his left rear. But at the same time, if we if we. 
NASCAR's taking a look at that restart, making sure everyone was in line when they came to the start finish line. See Brendan gone, the black and yellow car missed the top of the S's. Oh, oh. around goes big accident. The 14 involved. Looks like Kyle Bush might have been at the front end of that. Tommy Dreese in the 14. And this is so fast and so narrow, Rick. This is what point. Take another look at what happens. Wow, you see the 90. big contact from the 90. Yeah, you have to believe there was contact from behind or something happened. The angle at which he was heading to the wall. Severe change of directions quickly. Drivers trying to get through after all of that took place, but the 90 got into the wall, bounced back out onto the racetrack. Oh, and the 18 had it completely stopped until the 11 comes spinning back across the racetrack and made big contact with the left rear of the 18. Red flag is out. We look once again. So much damage to so many cars. Again, so tight in that area. Oh, man, Jason Leffler has torn up the great Clips Toyota. And that's the one thing I talked to him it's just it. about an hour destroyed ago. It. Killed it. Yeah, this is coming out of uh, turn nine. Really fast part of the racetrack, but you have to be careful. There's not, as you can see, not room to make a one. We're going to get a look at it right here. You can see, whoa, really gets loose. A fast part of the track is you're exiting, trying to get, wow, look at the oh. car get up in the air. Man, that's a violent hit. That's a tire wall over there in front of the guardrail. Will there be any passing going on here? Uh oh, uh -oh trouble. Carl, Paul Carl, Menard. Paul Menard's having a problem. Yeah, that could bring out a caution right here. A lot of debris on the course right there. Yeah, that might likely, likely bring out a caution. I'm not sure he can make it back from there. Caution is out. Caution for just the fourth time in this race. Oh, oh tire. Bad place to blow a tire. Yes. We were just showing in Kyle Bush's in car where you're wide open, already in high gear there, up over 150 miles an hour at that point. Nice job to wrestle that under control. And now you see this, like I said, it's broken to either a fuel line or an oil line. You got a fire going under there. Paul wisely brings it to a stop. Goodness, six gets it's like oh, oh my gosh. Goodness gracious. Wow. Like Boris said, got into the six car. David Reagan. Oh my goodness. That's a hard lick for David Reagan. This. Mm. Oh my goodness. Fellows also into the wall in that. Oh, heavy contact cars crashing. Oh, there's good. there's Hornish. One car in flames. Heavy contact. The 43 involved. Blaney involved. David Gilliland is heavy. The, the whole front of that car sheared away. There's David Gill, and the good news is the window net is down, and he is uh, pulling the visor up. Look at the turn 11. Then Michael McDowell gets into the back of Gill and getting into the corner here. Oh, oh my goodness. It's the hard oh, line. Right across in front of Labonte, who backs that car into the guardrail. There comes the 77 of Hornish. He was involved. See, Ryan Newman just stopped in the 12 car. hits right there. Well, Gilliland, oh, that's a 43 car that came down and gets Gilliland bounced off the wall.
Jr. is going to be aggressive. Denny Hamlin out front. Aggressive goes around. That's right. Get to the line. Get to the line. Coming off of turn seven, hard into the wall. Martin Trex Jr. trying to be aggressive. Through